hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel it's your girl gita precious as always and guys thank you so much for the love on my previous videos thank you for the likes the shares for you subscribing and if you're new on my channel thank you for stopping by my channel i hope you like it here and i hope you choose to stay by clicking the subscribe button and turn on the turning on the notification bell so you can get notified when i post new videos and if you're a returning subscriber you know the drill thank you so much i really appreciate you all and um, well guys without further ado i just want to get straight into this video i know i've been like really off and on i've not really had the motivation to shoot but today i just want to talk about um like a um how do i put it like a largely searched um information on the internet um as an international student in the uk one of the things you can do is working as a healthcare assistant and that's basically what i do yeah um when i came into the uk or even prior before i came um, into the uk i uh, um i asked a lot of people like was it like like getting a job can i get a job in my field well um it is possible but the fact is that um, being that you're only allocated 20 hours a week during term time and during your holidays you can work more than 20 hours that's so you can work full time so i don't think any company would want to hire um somebody that just comes like 20 hours in a week and goes off like a big firm so basically what most students do is either they work in the factory or they work in retail stores if you've not watched my previous videos i think i'm going to leave a link in the um in the description box and up on the screen so you can click and watch but today i'm going to be talking about working as a healthcare assistant as a student or generally a healthcare assistant in the uk well the health sector is one sector that um uh, they're actively recruiting and you could possibly come in to the uk through a um experience work permit that's i think a tier two visa under the healthcare system it's really 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 it's highly searched for it's highly sorted for i mean and um a lot of people have gotten um into the uk through that means but basically being a student how did i get into the healthcare and basically what are the things that we do during our shift so um a healthcare assistant i applied for the job without um any experience yeah i don't have the experience before now so i applied and um i went came went for the interview i passed the interview they just asked like some questions on why you care um have you cared for anybody before what like just different scenario or situational based questions and you just answer to the best of your knowledge and they put me through um some tests like online tests about just the basic things we do safety just the basic things we do like in the care homes and um that was how i got into care and of course through someone's recommendation so um for me i'm going to see my experience starting out in care isn't like back in nigeria when they told me what was involved in like i also watched some videos i i would usually cringe and like no i can't do that <laughs> i'm not going to do that but um before i left i always made the prayer that god i don't know what it is but let your will be done do you understand and that's just one thing on coming here like almost everybody i know that's what they do they walk in the like most students like given my flatmates like most of them they work in the care home so um i just had to and then i asked them like what is it like? what's it like and she says the first week the first two weeks you're gonna cry you're going to like i'm like yo god is this it i'm in for it so basically in the care home like and again care work is usually the most paid yeah i think it's yeah it's the most paid actually and um you can either work like 11 hour shifts or 12 hour shifts one hour break yeah or that's morning and night or midday that you start either by 7 and end at 7 p.m 7 a.m to 7 p.m or 8 a.m to 8 p.m or you can start at 2 p.m and end at 7 or 8 or start at 8 p.m and close at 8 a.m in the morning that's for the night shift 
so i'm going to explain to you what um the morning shift and the night shift entails for me i work with an agency so for in the agency um what it what it is is like um you go to different homes under your agency like you are not um at a place like you're not it's not like you you know that okay when i wake up in the morning or if i have a work to do i am going to this particular care home so as an agency worker i go to different homes like it's very possible that i would go back to the same home over and over again yeah but i go to different homes but um in the morning shift depending on the home you go to um or you come in the morning then the night shift of um either done personal care for some people what do i mean by personal care like most of the people in these care homes are people that are mostly um bedridden they need help or some have the capacity to do some things but they just need like little assistance here and there and we just have to like give them that push and like okay do this do this and then they'll be able to carry on with the other things but those that are um like are not capable at all you have to clean them up when i mean clean them up i mean just like everything every personal care you can do on your body brush your feet comb your hair have your bath but because they are like on the bed on the bed you just do like a clean like the normal just a clean on them with just like a flannel like a towel and just clean them up and you brush their teeth you change their pampas their diapers their pads rather you um clean them up basically change them into their dress so in the morning when you come in the morning like some of the residents are already cleaned up by the night um, staff but they'll leave like most of them for the morning shifts morning workers so when we come in the morning you clean them up um those that have not been cleaned up and you serve them breakfast so after breakfast you serve them tea then after tea you serve them lunch after lunch you serve tea again after tea you serve them dinner and after dinner you serve them supper like tea again or um, in the morning they are just more job like depends on the care home some care homes are like 10 people some care homes are like way more than that but you're not the only one working you have like other carers too to work with and in the night when you come at night you're just like I think it's usually during the supper time so you um give them tea just put up the the tea trolley as they call it you put up the tea the juice so more like you're asking which one do you want but then again each um resident has like a chart where you see what they take like if they're diabetic or they're not allowed they don't take sugar or they take coffee and milk or they take just coffee no milk no sugar or they take coffee with own sugar or they just take hot chocolate just all of those things you see it on the on the chat but if um like some of them that are capable you just walk in and be like oh what would you like to have coffee this and that and then they tell you okay i want coffee with sugar two sugars or i want coffee with um, one sugar and milk or i want my coffee weak something like that so you just serve them and then you go like during the night you go like you have like three rounds so you check them at 10 you you change their but like yes you get them ready for bed that's those that are not already in bed then at 12 you're checking their part at 2 a.m you're just going around to make sure that they're okay and they're well positioned then at 5 a.m you're checking their parts like yeah you're checking their parts and you am getting some of them ready just the usual routine now this depends on the home for agency workers you can like depending on like there's this app you work with and then when you go on the app you see available shifts so if you want to work in this care home you can always click on it and they would assign you to the home so far as the shift is available but now working as like um working directly in the home means that it's like a full-time job just that you know that this is my work 
once your name is on the roster for those that would be working you're definitely coming to work that day but one thing i like about the agency workers is that it's more it's they pay more though you don't have guaranteed work hours this week you might work like full full 20 hours that's during term time and the next week you're just working like six or eleven hours or something or even less sometimes you do not really have shifts because more like if an agency has like say 100 carers and then they have just like um how do i put it like 25 homes they cater to they have to shuffle it so that um it goes round for everybody so that's one thing about agency workers your hours are not guaranteed you do not like you, you you don't guarantee that you would have definitely have a job like today except you pick a shift i don't know if you understand what i'm saying but that's how it works with agency but with working with the care home or with the nursing home itself you know that oh my job is steady i am going to work here and you can't just leave without giving them a notice but with the agency i can wake up one morning and be like oh i'm not going to be i'm not going to pick shifts or if i do not want to work for this week i'm not going to pick any shift even if they call me for shift and uh, just be like oh i'm not available to work this week but with the nursing home you like except on very like on emergencies you can just um skip or maybe you're sick you can just not come to work but um with the agency you can actually just not not pick any shift and then they're not calling you basically that's that um basically it's not really so much though i've been like when i first started i would usually get anxiety attacks like i would usually get anxious because sometimes when you go to care homes the carers you meet they are not so so nice and some of them are nice got so kind i've actually been working with good people just on very few occasions like say one that i really had to work with this very 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 annoying not i don't know but it wasn't really a good um not not like it wasn't good good but you know that being i don't know how to put it anyway but i just hope you understand i don't even know how you should understand but anyways um basically that's that but overall you just have to like right now i'm trying to see them as like oh this is something i would do for my loved ones because apparently they're aged and you just have, like i just try to be very like being very empathetic and compassionate because um like you're only helping them to and some of them are very very sweet like very very sweet people like sometimes i'm like you like you're, you're just too sweet please because you're doing these things and they're like oh i'm so sorry i'm sorry i have to make you do this i'm sorry that like i'm like no you don't have to apologize i beg i'm being paid for this fam like in my mind anyway but like they're just so 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 sweet and they're like oh i'm sorry keep apologizing and i'm like no you don't have to apologize to me like no don't do that like sometimes it just makes me like makes me cringe and then when i look at them i'm like nah like it just makes you think like just have you think about a lot of things because you're seeing you see people die <laughs> well i have not but the thing is like i've not experienced it like first hand first hand but there are times you will come to this home and you see somebody that is like you know that in the next minute like basically everybody's just like coming to check to see oh is she still alive and all that and the next time you come to be maybe in one day or two days the person has actually passed away like that's how it is but i've not really got so kind of not really had to experience that but um to be very honest it's it's a good thing that you have to care for people but you have to um be open to um doing these things be open to just all of these things it's not easy there's actually no easy route to getting the money there's actually no easy route to making money but you have to do what you have to do i mean your rent is waiting for you and other bills you have to pay so <laughs> you have to do what you have to do but um well being a healthcare assistant so far it's been good it's been good earlier on when i started i usually have anxiety attacks but then i started to speak to every home i would go to and i would tell i just pray and say god this home would favor me whoever i work with would favor me and he's been it's been it's been working for me like i would just prophesy into the home i'll prophesy i'll prophesy 
into my shift or prophesy into my time and i'm like this hope would favor me whoever i work with would favor me whatever residents i would be attending to would favor me like stuff like that i, I just wanted like i just because i know that if i hand it over to god it would really be similar like, because i didn't even want something that would stress me or just make me very anxious and I mean i need i need to work to make the money so if i am not comfortable with what i'm doing not like i'm not comfortable but i just be, be, mean that i'm not one person that likes to i'm usually not so um comfortable with that i mean that you are you are facing it like you're you're working with people that in in the next minutes they could they, they are really fragile and i usually get very anxious and yeah majority of the time you're actually sitting so it's not bad 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 so you just have to keep an open mind and um basically that's just what i'm um, working in the healthcare working as a healthcare assistant really entails but um i think i'll just end this video here please leave a question if you have a question for me if you have any video you want to see on my channel please leave a comment in the comment section if you work in the healthcare sector um, please let me know what you do if you've worked as a healthcare assistant tell me your experience if you still do please let's um have a conversation in the comment session i'll be waiting and um i would see you in my next video so please stay safe be nice be kind i mean just that's just the least you you can do you can you owe people just be kind be kind to yourself be kind to people and um i'll see you in my next video bye This is me during the night shift. It's past two. Oh, not past two, but oh, the two rather. And um, yeah. yeah. But we're maintaining beauty.